Hey guys, welcome back to the Bayer Leverkusen career mode. In the last episode, we won the Super Cup and now we're about to play for another Super Cup. <laughs> Two Super Cups and I really want to win both. We managed to beat Bayern and I'm hoping we can beat RB Leipzig, the team we beat in the last game of last season to win the German Cup. We're in all the cups. Obviously, we've had a very busy start to the season. We've made so many signings and I'm really really happy with the squad. However, if I go into my objectives, don't forget, we are still looking to do the youth development short-term goal of sign three players assigned to midfield position. As you know, I sent out a scout and I believe we're going to get our first report in this episode. So I'm happy with that. I honestly think it's, it's likely we're going to lose my job, our job today, uh, not today, in this season, because the objectives are so tricky. I need to win the treble, which includes the Champions League, and I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So the way I'm seeing this season is kind of a free hit. Let's just go out with a bang. Worst case, we get fired and we start something new, maybe a road to glory in England or whatever. Or we manage to keep our job. We go into season three and actually try and win the Champions League. It's totally possible. But uh, first... Let's focus on starting season two well. We've already won one Super Cup. Let's win the second one. You probably noticed in the main menu, we have a new home kit, but we also have two other new kits. And a massive shout out to Bane. If you're watching this, thank you for helping me. They look absolutely awesome. This is the new home kit. I've hidden my camera so you can see it properly. Here is the white away kit. I think this might be my favorite, actually. And as you can see, the alternative kit is a hot pink because why not? And Granite Xhaka is modeling that beautifully well. So new kits, first time using them, and we want to win in it. We are going to be starting with Tell up front. Adeyemi on the left, Adley on the right, Verts through the middle, Xhaka and Darde in, in midfield as the kind of holding midfielders. Grimaldo, Hincapié, Tapsoba, Frimpong, and of course, Navas in goal. Is this my best team? I think so. It gives us the biggest chance of winning this game. Obviously, Boniface, 83 rated, I think. He's higher rated than Tell, but the sooner I get Tell playing and growing, I think we'll see just how good he is. He's a very, very good player. But um, anyway, RB Leipzig with Openda. They've got Andre Silva in there. I'm trying to work out. I saw they had Cancelo, which is an interesting one. But this is a good time to tell you guys I have updated my mods. I've got a realism mod and a gameplay mod. So we're going to see what it's like. The realism mod is more transfer related, wages related, transfer fees. I'm going to go 1-0 down here. No, I'm not. Um, and the gameplay mod, I don't really know how much of an effect it's making. I haven't really tested it enough. I've played maybe two or three games off camera, but the CPU kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> we're 1-0 down. They make more tackles, they're a little bit more eager to chase you down and put pressure on you. They seem to be just a little bit more aggressive in general, which I think is absolutely needed in this year's game. It just feels like, especially when you're running through their defence, they just, they just stand off you. But anyway, a bad start to this final, this Super Cup. We are 1-0 down and I've barely even touched the ball, brilliant. I should say, though, I have still got the same sliders. And if you're interested in the sliders that I use, they are in my Discord. And I've also got it on my Twitter or my X. I hate calling it X. It's always going to be Twitter. OK, Elon, no matter how much you try. Let's see if we can get straight back in here with an equaliser. Grimaldo going down the left. Cross coming in. Oh, tell. Oh, my God. I've said it before. He's a mix of all strikers in one he, he's not tall tall but he's quite tall he's not small but he's kind of small he's basically the perfect medium height but he's physically great in the air as you can see here he's great with his feet that might just be one of the best headed goals i've scored in this year's game wow what an equalizer adley down the right maybe yes here we go this is a real test of the gameplay mod oh wow they are more aggressive but Tell's in again here. Oh, and Klosterman's got the block in. I really hope this works because trust me, no one is more frustrated than me. If you're watching my videos and you notice I'm scoring goals where I'm just running through and it annoys me too. It's really annoying. I want the CPU to make tackles and 
I want it to be a difficult experience. Oh my God, that was close. Let's cross this. Oh my God. Wait, what? He's offside. Um, well, I, I also had... Hang on. I'm just trying to work out what happened first here. Because I had an advantage there. It came up in the top right. I'm wondering if I could have just had a free kick instead. What a cross though. And a great finish from Adeyemi as well. The gameplay is genuinely much better. It actually is. Great interception there, Hincapié. Oh, I've lost it. It just feels more... Oh my god, no way. It just feels more like football, to be honest with you guys. So at the moment, I'm quite impressed. But I'm not impressed with the fact that we've conceded two goals from, let's be honest, two, maybe three chances that RB Leipzig have had. It's a great goal, though. Hasn't Forsberg left in real life? I think he's gone to the MLS, hasn't he, or something? Anyway, 2-1 down. We need another one. Here is Adeyemi. I'm just going to cross it. I thought maybe I could get Tell on the end of it again. Okay, Granit Xhaka here. Into Darde. Over to Verts. And it's 2 all. What a game. This has been so good. Even though... Wait, it has count... Yeah, it does count. The number didn't change in the scoreboard. <laughs> Even though it's been disappointing to concede two goals, this has been a really fun match. And obviously, the gameplay mod and me getting used to that is nice. It, it just feels different. It feels like a new game right now. Right, half time. Let's get into the second half here. We're not going to make any changes just yet. Oh, Adley. Oh, the burst of pace. Got Verts through the middle here. He's already got one today, but I think he's going to have to be a provider this time. Into Tell. Oh, that is the most lucky rebound I've had. What just happened? Five goal thriller. We're only 55 minutes in as well, but Tell has a double. This is so lucky. This shot there, that was a shot. I mean, it was. I pressed shoot. He just kind of side-footed it against the defender, and then it opened up perfectly. You couldn't have asked for a better deflection, honestly. Okay, brilliant. I will make a defensive change in probably about 10 minutes because I feel like Xhaka and Dada are probably not as um, watertight as I would like them to be. And by that, I mean I will leak goals if I'm not careful. I've actually wanted to try this for a little while. Grimaldo into midfield, and now... I've got a new left wing back, Parisi. Let's put him in. I honestly think Grimaldo as a central midfielder would be disgusting. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm also going to put Ramazani on and swap sides with Adeyemi. Remember how small Ramazani looked. <laughs> He's teeny. Um, what else should I do? Maybe Gula actually. Yeah, do you know what? I'm No, Tails on a hat trick. I can't take him off. We'll, we'll stick with that for now. And the ball's gone out of play, so we'll get those subs on straight away. But it hasn't changed the team too much. And I think we'll still probably have enough to win this game. Oh, my God. Andre Silva, where did that pace come from? We have slide in. Great tackle. Don't you dare give a pen for that. I would have absolutely lost it. That was such a good tackle. All right, corner coming in. Headed out. Oh, my God. It's Ramazani. Please. He's one of the quickest players in the team. Probably one of the quickest on the pitch. Look at him go. There's no chance you're stopping him. Can he finish? Yes, he can. And we have just won the Super Cup. Again, a different one. <laughs> what a sub. Grimaldo here. Actually very good as a central midfielder. Get it in the box. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I don't think we will get sacked if we play like this. Because, my God, I could beat anyone. Maybe. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a big call to make that. What a goal. We have two players on a hat trick. Can either Verts or Tell complete the hat trick? We've got the ball. Oh, we're playing so well. I'm just going to put it down the right side. I mean, Verts is probably going to have the best opportunity here out of the two of them. Can I pick him out? Oh, it's not going to work. Come on, tap sober. Oh, it doesn't matter, guys. It's going to be another trophy. Two trophies in two games. I mean, can't really complain, can you? Let's see. I think it's going to be Tap Sober lifting the trophy. We really are building quite a team here. I absolutely love it. I really do. We've got a real mix of players, a bit of everything. And it's not all just 
young players with crazy potential. We've got some older players in there. And Tap Sober, by the way, what a defender he is. Incredible. And there it is, guys, the second Super Cup of the preseason. I mean, it is still preseason, I guess, technically. The, uh, the Bundesliga season starts very, very shortly. But we should be getting that scout report very soon. And I'm very intrigued to see if we can potentially get that objective done. Well, here it is, guys. We have four midfielders because that's exactly what I sent my scout out to find. And honestly, I'm seeing some potentially very good players here. The best way to look, I guess, straight up is just value. 350,000 euros sounds pretty good to me. Linus Beck, oh, 1.3 million. Okay, we'll sign him up. Fabian Hansen, uh, I only need three. Wait, Till my oh my God, 3.5 million euros. Okay, he has an overall of 58 to 80. Oh my God, imagine if he's like high 60s, low 70s, I might be able to use him. A very good potential. I mean, yeah, we'll sign him up. We don't need Hansen. That should be three midfielders in. Oh my God. Easy as that. Wait, how good is he though? 69 rated, 64 rated and 56 rated. And they are all central midfielders. Till Meyer genuinely looks incredible. He's got zero to two play styles. I wonder what they will be. Um, really good pace, dribbling. Do you know what? He looks more of a winger, to be honest. High, medium, right-footed, can play as a cam. This guy can play as a DM, but he's never going to make it into the team at 56 rated. I think even at 69, it's a push, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take him. He's 17, so I can. I'm actually taking one of my players. I'm going to use him. I'm going to give him a go. I guess converting him to cam is going to be very quick. Two weeks. And also, yeah, going to a winger as well will not take long. The thing is, I don't need a winger. I'd rather actually have another cam. Wait, Amiri. He could be the new Amiri, my backup, backup cam. He also kind of replaces Hoffman, who left, of course. Damn, okay, we got really lucky with that. So let's give him a, a more realistic number. He's a youth player, so we'll go with... Um, I'm feeling a 33 and mm, 32. What what else do we have available? We've got quite a few lower numbers. Oh, 18. Yeah, he's getting number 18. That's fine. Welcome to the club, Till Meyer. Exciting prospect. I'm just comparing my new signing Meyer and Amiri. And honestly, he's not far off, which is scary. He's already faster, of course. That's fine. Amiri's not the quickest, but that's not a problem. But shooting wise, he's only nine behind. Passing, seven behind. Dribbling defending physical not far behind so honestly i think if i get an offer for amiri i might just let him go i'm not going to really need him too much and it would slow down the growth of maya who might get in a cup game or two but i definitely need to give him a go in fact in the next match he's starting <laughs> i'm actually going to play him ahead of Verts. How mental is that? The thing is, it's Darmstadt. We should be okay. We, we can beat Darmstadt without Verts. And we, we potentially could have sold Verts. So this is, this is kind of like what life would have been without him. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put him on the bench. We'll take out... Um, I'm not going to use Boniface. Take him out and put Maya in. He gets a plus four as a cam. He gets a plus five as a winger. But that's where I want him as a cam. How tall was he? 5'8". I mean, that's not bad. First game of the new season. The Bundesliga season, that is. So far, two competitive games and two trophies. I mean, I'll take that. What a start. Let's see how good Maya is. Look out for the number 18. Playing behind the striker. Is he going to just fit in as if he's always been here? Because honestly, if he's, if he's really good, I'll play him. Not ahead of Verts, most... Oh, my God. No way. <laughs> Can you imagine getting the shot away and it flies into the top corner? But I'll definitely give him some game time. Absolutely. 
We do have a slight issue, though. Where's the referee? <laughs> oh, she's wearing my kit. Literally red top, black shorts. I mean, the only good thing is, is she's got red socks on. That would have been an issue. It already is an issue. I've tried to pass to her already like twice. Oh my god, Maya's giving it away. Right, back to the youth academy you go. Useless. <laughs> Here he is again. What should we do? Try and get it over the top for Tell. Oh my god, that is not the pass I wanted, but it was beautiful. Addy Amy now. Oh, I should have waited just a second more. I don't think Adley was making the right run. Dard has won it back though. And he's lost it. Okay, well, so far, I think Maya looks like a good little player, you know. Here he is again. Get the pass through. Nice. Into Tell. I'm just going to hit this. Go on. Oh, okay. Well, the keeper made it look better than it was. Why didn't he just catch that? Going to go on the inside. Up to Tell here. Maya, maybe it's your, your time to shine. Here he is. On his left foot. I mean, that wasn't great oh what have you done the keeper's an idiot oh they are so fortunate we can get on the break here up to tell right let's see Maya's made a run I'm just gonna keep going here I'm gonna have to cross it I have to Maya was there Dada's gonna pick this up Adley finesse shot that was awful I'm glad the defender stopped that is Maya there's no way. His dribbling's so good. Oh, Adley. Hey, there we go. 1-0 right before the break. Somehow, I haven't scored before this one. We've been knocking on the door and there it is. Granite Xhaka here. Straight away in this second half, looking for a second goal. Here's Maya. Oh, the ball was probably the right idea. I just didn't execute it very well. Xhaka's won it back. Darda into Maya. He's actually really good. Oh, Adeyemi's in. And that is 2-0. And it's an assist for 17... He's 17, right? 17 years old, Till Maya. What a story. Honestly, who needs Verts when you've got Maya? That's offside, isn't it? No. Would have been another assist. He's really good. And there's an injury. Oh, dearie me. But do you know what? I'm taking Maya off. He's only a youngster. He can only handle it for so long. I want Guler on. I want Verts on. I'm going to go for it at the end here. Adi Amy off. Ramazani. Super sub. Get him on. Palacios. Uh, let's give Bernabe a go as well. Take Xhaka off. Basically, I've just changed my entire front part of the team. It's a joke, isn't it? The, the depth I've got now. Oh, my God. Oh, that was close. How did he get that through Hincapié? That was very nicely done. But they're in trouble here, potentially. Wait, what? The ball just went behind Verts. Oh, and that deflection as well. Luckily, it's 2-0. So even if they were to score here, which... Oh, that's going to be a free kick. It doesn't matter. They're not going to be able to turn this around. But this is going to be the last chance for them. And it's a free kick for Romo, who we signed in the Girona career mode. And he scored! <laughs> the Mexican actually has pulled one back. And that was not on the script, in the script, whatever. I mean, can we get one last chance here before the end? Just go for a little run with Verts here. Don't blow the whistle, ref. I want to get at least across it. Yeah, here we go. Tell, this is for you. Oh, that would have been so nice if you got that. Well, I guess that's it. Pretty good start to the season. Unbeaten. Two trophies. We've got our first win of the league season already. Nice. And it turns out Bayern were playing against Dortmund and they drew. So already both of the two favourites typically have dropped points. Very nice indeed. And Theo Hernandez has gone to Liverpool, who of course we faced in the Europa League final. That might have changed things if they had him. You never know. But on that note, guys, that is the end of this episode. We've brought in a Youth Academy player. I hope you're happy because I know a lot of people love the Youth Academy stuff. Typically, if I'm doing two seasons with the team, it doesn't really make sense to bring in 50, 60 rated players. But Maya looks good. We will convert him to Cam and I'm sure he'll be in the low 70s. New kits looking great. Really happy with them. And uh, another trophy. Perfect. 
I'll see you in the next episode where we will finish the transfer window.